Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to have you here. So this video is very short. I originally had it at 28 minutes and I'm telling you what, I struggle uploading with anything that's over 15 minutes. So we had to butcher it and I do apologize, but it's that or nothing. So we're just going to kind of talk through this as you watch. Um, the background I used was one I previously did not like at all for what I was doing. So I decided, you know what, let's just start over. But I didn't think what I had was so bad that I needed to toss it. So I kept it and it turned out perfect for this one. Now, I am using my pan pastels on top of this background. It was sprayed with delusion, uh, not delusions, distress oxide sprays is what I used. I will have all the products listed in the description box below if you want to know what I used. I am curious, you YouTubers out there that edit your videos and upload to YouTube. Do you have trouble having enough space? I use a iPad and I have almost no, I bought it just for this. I had to upgrade in order to do these videos and I struggle having space. I changed the resolution of the videos and it doesn't matter what I do at some point I always hit a wall and cannot upload because of space issues. So if you're one of these people, I am willing to take any advice that you can give. <laughs> can I download to the iCloud from the, the iPad's the only Apple thing I have. Everything else is Android. So, and you can get iCloud on Android. Can I upload to iCloud, pull it onto my phone? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Anyway, back to my video. <laughs> I have already done all the stamping on here, putting on my little fairy. And you can see on Gideon, he looks like he has a collar. This is the first time I've ever had ink pull up anything from underneath. Something was really weird about this project in particular. I've never had it happen before. I struggled getting layers on this paper. Um, I don't know if it's because I had an excessive amount of the sprays on it. I've, I've never, I don't know, but it, my pastel pencils, I had trouble getting it to cover over what is on here. I wasn't sure what was going on, but you know what? I just kept working with it and working with it and finally got it to do what I wanted to and it turned out great. This project is for my special friend Hazel who I leave gifts from the fairies to. Her mom usually posts a picture on Facebook with her and her gift from the fairies. I just love seeing them. So she, you know, she has no idea who I am. I think that is such a a magical thing to have as a child. Her mom is so creative. I just, I love it. And, it, you know, I just kind of threw myself into the mix and <laughs> become the friend of the fairies. So here, I left this in because I tried something new. These are Arteza Mica Powders. So I'm always trying to find something glittier, glittier, glit, glitterier, shine. I want more shine, girls. So we tried this. I took this mica powder and I've put it out on this acrylic dish. And I am using Arteza Real Brush Markers. And I have picked, I think the color was uh, lettuce green. And... I'm going to dip it down in that mica powder so I have the green color with the green shine. It ends up, it works really well. Now, after I get this loaded up in the brush, it starts drying the pin out. 
So I come back in and I add a couple drops of water to kind of help. And then I, I use that on the vines of the trees. So it ends up, it works out really well. And I'm kind of talking about what I'm going to do here. I could have cut out some of that mixing. That would have saved another minute. <laughs> I think I want to try recording and having it go to my laptop and learning a new editing program, which the idea of learning a new program just makes my stomach turn. For those of you that edit your own videos, ooh, it is a nightmare for me. iMovie is super easy. I love it. But I have, I originally tried some others. And I'm telling you what, girl, it's a struggle. So I ended up re-editing, deleting all the voiceover. And here we are. And it's butt crack of dawn. The sun's not up. And I'm here with you fine folks re voice overing <laughs> here is I'm using Carbothello Stabilo pastel pencils this is where I noticed it the most where I could not get this to take another layer it was quite a struggle I had to put it on there and rub it in and put it on and rub it in and come in I did brown yellow and navy on the stem of this mushroom over and over and over. I sit and fussed with it forever. It just, it was like the paper was almost like sandpaper, which you'd think would make it take it. I, I don't know. I just can't understand for the life of me what would have been on this paper that wouldn't have let it took the pastel because pastel goes on everything so easy. And I'm using the multifarious card here and I'm telling you what, multifarious card takes a lick and it keeps on ticking, girls. I love this paper. I finally get it smoothed out. It just, it took a lot of time to, you can see where I'm starting to push the pastel around because it, it's not taken anymore, but I was pleased with what I was able to do. So here I'm just coming in and I'm starting to fill in some more shadows on some of the trees and on the ground I used a uh, purple well it was blue but it appeared purple on this sacred tree in the back I just I kind of like the color change it makes it look set further back and here I'm coming in and I'm just darkening the horizons and the hilltops. I just didn't think they was dark enough. And here again, I'm going over the mushroom with the pastel. I just, I love my soft pastels. If any of you are in the market to try a new art supply and girls, we know we are. <laughs> we have issues. We are supply hoarders. I could make a whole channel just on supply hoarding. People do. It's called hauls. <laughs> anyway, I went over this with green and then I took some dark green. And I will list the colors in the description. To kind of do the top and the bottom in darker. Try to make it look round. Then I'm coming over with some black. And again, I couldn't, I couldn't get it to take it. I almost had to dig into the paper to make it take that black. It's almost like I had put acrylic spray paint over the top of that paper, which I didn't, but I'm not sure. We highlight this in yellow. And again, didn't want to take it, but I messed with it long enough. And it was, it was something I could live with. The 
these are Thule Art acrylic paint pens. I was searching for a cheaper alternative to Posca. Now, of course, these aren't going to hold as much as Posca because they're smaller, but the variety of colors was fantastic. And the price was great. I don't remember how much they were. They weren't, I think they were like 36 bucks or 29, some, maybe it's 36 colors and they were $29. Either way, I really like these. I think they're pretty comparable to Posca if you're in the market for some paint pens. I do hope that this video finds everyone healthy this Christmas season, you know, amongst all the COVID nonsense. I hope you're well and you're happy with your families this year because that is, that is what's most important. And I know a lot of families have gotten hit hard with COVID and, you know, my thoughts are with all of you that are struggling with that right now. Sometimes going in my craft room and starting a project kind of helps clear my head, crank up the music. <laughs> it helps me a lot, so. And I'm sure it does many of you. Is This is my therapy. That and the beach, but the beach is really expensive, so I don't get to, I don't get to my therapy there, but you know, a few times a year. <laughs> Day after Christmas, I will be getting more therapy from the ocean. I am counting the days. I'm so excited. I get to go see my Florida family. I miss them. The older I get, the more it seems I miss them. Here we are filling in shadows on the backsides of the trees. This is a carpet and not Carbothello, uh, Stabilo All Black, and a Faber Castell Pit. These are the colors that I used on the pastel pencils, shadows, and highlights. Oh my! <laughs> I did the shadow back there on the sacred tree with purple and cream. Something different than what was in the foreground. This isn't something I've ever done before. I always use the same colors. And I'm definitely going to switch. I like doing different colors in the backgrounds. It it really pulls it back. And I just thought that the vines needed a little more shine, a little more bling-a-ding-ding. -ding. So we put some yellow where like the highlight would be. I was very pleased with how the, the vine turned out around the trees. And there it is. Other than highlights, I forgot we have white highlights. Uh, I've used an Arteza highlight pen. Or highlight pen. Good grief, it's early. Uh, Arteza white pen. And we go through and we just kind of touch everything that I think the moonlight would touch. Give it some highlight. I really enjoyed this one. I was very pleased how it turned out and I'm really hoping that I can get this uploaded now that I have <laughs> cut it down. I deleted almost every single app. I had my iPad and I still couldn't get it to work. So here's hoping ladies, if you are struggling with Christmas shopping, mm, I don't Christmas shop anymore. I do everything online. I need to get on it. I got to finish. Time's ticking. I hope you all enjoy your families this year. I'm just really excited for the Christmas season this year. I'm planning a wedding. What are you guys planning? What What do you, what's your New Year's resolutions? Number one, lose weight. That's always on my list. It wasn't for several years. And then I met, I met my Jeremy and yeah, guess what ladies, it's back on the list. <laughs> Coming in with this Faber Castell pit pen, trying to, I wasn't real happy with the window, so you know we fuss and adjust and we get it. I 
I have a Lavinia order that's supposed to be here Wednesday. So I will probably do a haul video. I have quite a few stamps on there. I haven't ordered Lavinia for quite some time. I have been eagerly awaiting its arrival, but I'm, I'm guessing because of COVID and lack of employees, it's taken a lot longer to get it this time. But hopefully Wednesday it'll be here. My son named this Night in the Forest. I hope you enjoyed watching. Like and subscribe if you did. I'm getting people telling me they're not being notified of my videos, so I would appreciate it. Have a great day.